I want to warn you for a typical LinkedIn scam. I have received uh, a couple of this one before, uh, but it's every time, you know, you're you're thinking perhaps it's a real lead, perhaps it's a client, um, but uh, but soon th th there are many indicators how you can can pick these out. But be careful because uh, I can imagine many people will will fall for this. Uh, so let's see what's going on. Last Saturday I received uh, uh, I received an, an LinkedIn message. Uh, that's the first uh, red flag because uh, serious people, they work on weekdays and they have a weekend. Uh, so on Saturday, yeah, okay. Strange day to receive a message, but it's possible. Let's see what's, uh, what's going on. I received a message from a third connection. Uh, I have quite a lot of connections, so uh, that's not that strange, but uh, uh, it has, if it's like a total uh, not connected uh, person, uh, you're less likely to, to agree, but this looks like someone that's close to my network. Uh, so, wow, cool. In fact, I can show you below here, we have a, uh, a group in common. So that's probably how, how they find me. Okay. So the message goes like this. Hello, I am very impressed with the work you do. Blah, blah, blah. Second red flag. She is not specific at all. This is their standard message. She is not very impressed with the work I do as whatever you do, no? <laughs> this is just a, a standard message. Not specific, another big red flag. My name is blah, 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 and I want to explore opportunities, blah, 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 blah. It's actually a pretty bad copy. Who uses this language? Just, hi, how are you? Do you have time to chat? You know, <laughs> that is how real people talk to each other. Uh, this is uh, actually not that good written. So, as a project manager at X Nihilo Paris, this is a strange name, successfully managed programs, blah, blah, blah. And we want to do an advertising campaign with you. Tell me a nice time for you. Okay, of course, what I do then in this case, I, uh, I check out the, the profile and the website. First, uh, I hope I don't lose this message because I want to keep showing it as example. Uh, I have a look at the profile, uh, one mutual group, yeah, it, it's uh, not a really a very complete profile, it has some things but it's not, not really filled in very well, profile photo and a shop of the parfum shop, a photo of the parfum shop, uh, she knows advertising herself, why would she hire me, it is uh, strange uh, maybe she sucks at it so okay then I can help her let's have a look at the website and the website supposedly she's working two years already on this project uh, it's a Shopify website uh, it is not the letters are too small way too small this is a not a good website at all. I would never want to advertise this because it's very hard to read at 100%. And this is now I'm like, I made it more big. Uh, let's see how much. Uh, and um, yeah, it's still not very uh, legible. And, but I, I really thought it was something for a second. I thought maybe this is really something. It's just a bad site and they really need help for me to improve their website as well. I can help with that. And uh, I checked out their Instagram. I'm gonna do that now. There's, there's a lot of posts there uh, of product shots, 
okay uh, let, let's have a look actually why not you know let's do this properly let's have a look at their instagram they're probably uh, stealing photos from the internet from celebrities and just po posting photos of random people instagram come on yeah so now 50,000 followers yeah it may even be a legit business i don't know it may even be and and they just get hacked uh, by a scammer and they use their account to send stuff to me uh, so they they put some product photos and i don't know this this one just can be just a shot from a <laughs> screenshot from the television or netflix whatever these are very random stuff yeah so I don't know if this is real or the account got hacked. I don't know, not sure about it. So one more look in the, in the web shop, in the web shop. Let's see, I want to buy something. I, uh, I get an extremely overpriced uh, bottle of perfume. Uh, I thought perhaps th there is a mistake with uh, uh, with the conversion of the of, of, of the money, but it's it's just a big error. Uh, this is not real at all. And ah, yeah, we got some uh, uh, in the description here. We got some uh, error with a in the HTML file. This is not. Yeah, I mean these errors occur. Uh, but looking at this, I can tell you their sales on the website are zero. Nobody's going by here. Overpriced and uh, too small font. Uh, Shopify standard uh, drops the drop shipping or scammers. Don't buy on Shopify, really. Why would you <laughs> buy stuff with people who at least have <laughs> the decency to invest in their proper website? Come on. Um, so yeah, not a good impression, but again, maybe I can help with uh, creating a proper website and so on. So feeling inclined to, to reply. So she's clearing, asking to the point, schedule meeting. So for that, I have my Canonly link and I sent uh, you. I'm asking uh, on what platform she want to advertise. That's always a good tip. Ask for something specific. If they don't reply, if they don't give the answer, uh, it's not a person I can communicate with, so then I'm out anyway. Uh, so I asked to, well, okay, so go ahead, uh, pick a time slot, uh, schedule a time. Then the reply, the, like, we're, like we're the fourth or fifth red flag here already. Uh, she's not responding to my specific question on what platform do you want to advertise she's sending uh, i will send you my company's project she's not saying i will send you my company's uh, uh, i have here a, a pdf with the, the project information or here's a link uh, where you can see my project or i i grabbed a loom video whatever no, here's my company's project. I received a couple of these before, so I know there's a spam link coming. So uh, I say, I just for this video, I moved forward and see what they will send. And yes, so yeah, okay, yeah, okay, just send me your shit. And there it is. Here's our project file. You can check it out. The password, blah, blah. Uh, Check the project carefully. The project is only available on the computer. <laughs> Waiting for your news. And there we have a beautiful .rar file. Uh, it will probably <laughs> do a lot of bad things on my computer. Uh, I don't know what their attempts are. Uh, password information, hacking my accounts, uh, you name it. Uh, can be malware, spyware, not anything good to expect from opening this file. 
So, uh, yeah, if you if you want to, to see, I, I'm not going to do this now because I'm going to, I don't know, report this account and, and make sure, but uh, what I can do that nobody gets, uh, takes the bait of this trap, that's also why I make this video so you can uh, be aware of these kinds of uh, LinkedIn scams that are around. Uh, I received similar uh, phishing attempts on uh, on Upwork as well. Uh, I think this is going on each platform where there's some sort of communication going going on. Of course, there's email. Yeah, we know that. You know, but this is like a little bit more sophisticated. So you can actually open uh, or open. Uh, um, there's like like unzip or winzip uh, there you can uh, see what's what's going on don't open the rar file uh, sometimes they they pick this inside another file and yeah whatever inside there will be a script there will be a dot exe pretty sure uh, that will ruin your day I'm pretty sure about that so this is a scam. I don't know if Yas Hamza is real or her account just got hacked. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, anyway, this is a scam. Don't fall for it. Have a nice day.